Too often the old cowboy code says, you can tell a man or a woman what job needs to be done, but you don't tell them how to do it. Here's a different take on that idea. It's important to make sure everybody's on the same page. And even if it's a lunchtime get together or coffee before you go out and start to work, it's important that everybody kind of make sure that the, the folks that are coming in, make sure they understand what's expected of them and the folks that are having them in, make sure they understand what they expect of, of the help. And so it's important to have those kind of get togethers and, and talk about things. In the middle of getting done what you want to get done, sometimes tempers get a little short. People uh, do things uh, without thinking and it's, it's much better to, uh, to have folks on the same page. I would prefer to have more help than less help. Just because you don't have to make as many tracks and everything can go pretty fast. You can build a real flow. Uh, most of the time working cattle through a, a chute setup, you really need four to five people. But you need four to five people on the same page. If you don't have four to five on the same page, I'd rather do it myself. Because they're impeding the flow that you're building. For the most part, most of us put the least experienced person a lot of times in the back bringing the cattle into the system. In my opinion, the most important part is getting the cattle into the system. Because that sets up all the flow, keeps the stress off the cattle till they're in that chute. And that's been a change in philosophy. I used to be the one that sent the least experienced to the back to crowd them in there. That's the totally opposite approach we take now. So either myself or somebody that understands the system will get in the back and bring the cattle. Um, the problem with too many people is that too many people are trying to be in charge. Uh, the key to handling cattle this way is most people are just hold, herd holders. And one person needs to be the one putting pressure. The rest of them are just holding the location. And if you're in a pasture and everybody's pressing on a set of cows, they don't know where to go. And so as you bring cattle around and they're gonna corral them, there needs to be one person that's putting the pressure on the front, and maybe the ones in the back are still keeping pressure, keeping movement going, but everybody can't be hooping and hollering or it's just gonna become into cow chasing. And so that's the, the big difference. Uh, we used to work in crews of 17 and 18 people uh, we now try to do everything with less than six. So we try to find the people that are interested in what we're doing. A lot of people aren't. They want to go do it the way they've traditionally done it. Uh, we get better production out of our cattle, less injury to people, less injury to cattle. And so we, we've chosen to do things differently and we're going to work with like-minded people. If you're utilizing temporary help, uh, it, it more than likely you would want to put those in a position that uh, uh, does not require uh, the most attention or the most skill, uh, especially when it comes to handling the cattle and uh, uh, utilizing the flight zones of cattle. So uh, if you can get them in a, on a sorting gate or uh, pushing cattle with a crowd gate or somewhere where you have to have extra personnel, uh, it's best to use those people in those positions.